Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can find the API credentials of your PayPal. Uh, so basically, when you are going to integrate your PayPal account into your website, so at that moment, you have needed API username, API password and API signature, which are really important to connect your PayPal account to your uh, website, right? For example, you are interested to use in the WordPress website. So over there, you will be just clicking on the manage uh, plugin so at that moment you will be getting all the details over there uh, for example you are interested to use the live mode so at that moment you have you will have to fill all the details like signature user id username and password i mean api username api password and api signature so once you uh, fill all the details then after uh, uh, whenever someone is going to purchase something then that amount would be gone to uh, your account uh, paypal account all right so this is really important to know about that uh, from where we can get the, uh, that specific uh, uh, those specific credentials from our paypal account so let me show you uh, quickly first of all you have to click on login so i am over here paypal.com so once you are going there you have to enter the username uh, i mean email id and then password and then click on login so once you are successfully logged in then you have to uh, see all the details over uh, the dashboard so wait a while wait for a while so you can see that here we have a banner and pay paypal balance and everything underneath the hood but we are uh, interested to let me hide this one yeah but we are interested to uh, show over uh, API credentials so uh, once everything is loaded over the dashboard now you have to click on the tools so on the tools tab you have to click on the link app all tools so once you are clicking that one then it would be loading some uh, for a while and then after you have to go down and here on the left side you will be getting the uh, link here integrate paypal so once you are clicking over there then you have to uh, go down and you will be getting api credentials so you can see over here which is api credentials My, uh, that means request api credentials and grant api permissions to third party so you need to click on open so sometimes uh, you will be opening this up and uh, you will be getting uh, the uh, pop-up in which you have to verify that you are the account owner so you will have to uh, put the uh, put the otp code which would be sent to your uh, registered mobile number so here we have your payment api credentials so you, so you have to go all the way down and you will be getting something like nvp forward slash soap api integration classic so you can also uh, see here that you are your developer integrated uh, nvp forward slash soap or classic apis that allow you to accept paypal via payments via paypal so we are also interested to uh, accept the payments via paypal so now we have to click on manage api credentials so once you are clicking on that specific link then you would be landed to the page where all the details of uh, yeah uh, finally i also got the um, uh, got the verification so you also got the verification over here so here we have to enter our otp code So I entered my OTP code and then I need to click on process and proceed and then uh, identity verified and now we will be redirected to the uh, credentials page. So once everything is loaded here then you will be getting all the details which we have required and those details must be like API username, API password and API signature all right so it would it would take a bit of time so you can see over here that finally we end up with the credentials and signature so here we have api username then we have api password 
and then we have the signature and request date as well all right so now you have to click on the show and once you are clicking on the show then you will be getting that specific uh, that specific uh, username and you have to copy from here and then paste it where you have needed so these three details are really important for us to uh, access to use our PayPal account or maybe uh, to integrate a PayPal account onto a website or somewhere else right right so once we are done with this and you have to see over here like do not share your credentials information with anyone store in a secure a secure location with limited access so i mean if you are uh, interested to use these credentials then you know that if you are storing this into your system then take care of this because these are really critical if someone will be able to access this then he can hack your account as well so make sure you keep all these details in a safer place uh, so, so to the to uh, for later use uh, so for now i will recommend that you have to copy this and uh, just paste it on the uh, website where you have needed and nothing no need to store anywhere right so this is this is the safer part so once you are done with everything then you have to click on the done you can also remove remove these and uh, create new uh, credentials for example so you uh, know that someone uh, has found your credentials and you are interested to change so you can remove those older one and uh, uh, just uh, start with the uh, newer one all right so i think that you got the basic understanding that how i found the credentials of my uh, PayPal account and basically these are really easy for us to find so we need to follow all the steps which I have just given you and make sure that this account is a business account that's why I uh, found these settings if you have individual account then at that moment uh, there would be setting but uh, that would be little different all right so you have to take care of all these things so if you have business account then you need to follow these steps and you will be end up with the uh, API credentials so what we did is like tools and all tools and then uh, uh, we move ahead with the API uh, uh, credentials and th then we landed to the page where we had that and we also uh, used uh, we ha have also verified our uh, mobile phone with the OTP so that is actually authentication to for the security reasons so uh, all these things we discussed in this video so in the next video we will be learning something more important so uh, so uh, make sure subscribe this channel and like this video so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video